Good day, students. I'm your teacher, Mr. James Ibudu. I'm going to teach you business studies J1. But before we start that, let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for an opportunity to learn this day. Thank you, O oh Lord. Grant unto us wisdom. Grant unto us understanding, both the teacher and the learner. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the topic before us is Introduction to Business Study. A first time I want to know the subject. What is Business Studies? Business Studies, as we can see, is the comprehensive and practical subject that prepares students for managerial role in private and public uh, sectors of the economy. As you can see that we have different sectors. Here we divide it to public sector and private sector. When we talk about public sector, we mean companies, organizations that are owned by the government. And when we talk about private sector, you know, uh, companies that are owned or establishment owned by individuals. Now, the second definition of business study is that it prepares learners to manage money, man, machines, material resources in an organization. So whichever one you prefer, that is what we mean by business studies. You see that business studies prepares the managers, prepares the bankers, the economists to adapt to rapid changing business realities. So it equips us with necessary skills so as to be able to manage any trend in business. So having understood the the uh, definition of business studies, hope you are following, will go into the importance of business studies. We want to know, why do we study business studies? Number one there, you see that business study, the study of business helps us to appreciate the role of commerce in relation to other aspects of production. Each time uh, commodities are produced, it has to pass through a particular channel and that channel could be through transportation, uh, banking, and then advertisement before it gets to the final consumers. So what you will need to do is that commerce is very, very important because production is not complete without commerce. Then the next thing is that it trains us to identify the type of transaction and open necessary book of account. We have a credit transaction, we have also cash transaction. We have different kinds of books. We we'll open for cash book, petty cash, and then a journal for credit entries. So also, business study helps us to understand office procedure and practices. Things, the way things are done in a, an office, when money is paid, when we want to write a letter, uh, we want to raise an LPO, there are uh, established ways things are being done. So that is... We need to understand it very well. And the business study helps us to understand how with the procedures we follow in order to get to what we want to achieve. Also, business studies help us to acquire keyboarding skills. What do we mean by keyboarding skills? Uh, we find that uh, today, computer is very, very important. You, you can't do without computer. If you don't know how to manipulate computer in this rapid changing business reality in this our environment, you will find it very, very difficult to cope with uh, running your business, maybe outside the country or within the country. Also, we find that, that uh, the next one is to help, it helps us to understand business ethics. What we mean by ethics? There are values, there are principles that are followed before. A business is transacted. You cannot, there are law, well, I have laws of contract. So you have to really understand the nitty gritty before you enter into that kind of business. Now also we learn that, we learn skills that will aid our day-to-day -day business transaction. Hope you understood some of the importance of business studies. We'll cross over to the components of business studies. When we talk about components of business studies, we're talking about the branches of business studies. We have 
four branches of business studies. The first one is office practice. The second one is commerce. The third one is bookkeeping. And the fourth one is keyboarding or type, typewriting. The office practice, it will helps you. It's a subject that helps the student to know to what is to be done in the office to enhance uh, how things are being done in the office. Why commerce is the buying and selling of goods and services and other ancillary or facilitators to trade. You mean, I mean transportation, I mean banking, insurance, and uh, others. Bookkeeping helps us to know, to record business transactions in a systematic way so that the owner could always know the exact financial position of his business at a particular point in time. Why keyboarding is a communication tool in business in which we use uh, typewriting or computer keyboard in order to produce information for business decision making. Having hope you understood that. Having understood that, we'll go over to career opportunities in business studies. When we talk about career opportunities in business studies, what are you going to become after your business, after studying business study? Any of those subjects that has to do with business study? Number one, see, you can be a banker, you can be an accountant, you can be an economist, you can be a, an insurance broker, you can be a secretary, you can be a salesman, you can be a marketer, you can be a bosser, you can be a, a storekeeper, or a bookkeeper, you can also be an entrepreneur, a storekeeper, and then you can be a manager of human and financial resources. You can also work as a purchasing and supply officer. All these and many more are career opportunities in business studies. Now, I hope that what we have done so far, you are following up. But in case you have any question, you can also send your question across. We have, uh, before we come to the end of the lesson, we have an assignment there displayed to you in the board. Now, the first one is business studies worthwhile. Give three reasons. If you say yes, we want three reasons. Why you think that it is good, we study business studies. The second one, mention four subjects. A business study student can study in senior secondary school. Uh, well, when you are done, you post it through the WhatsApp that will be sent to you later. Thank you very much. Hope you understood. Meet you again. I'm still James Ibudu. Thank you.